morning Jody here on a wet drizzly morning and just having a little walk after dropping the kids off at school and thought I would do a little top tip for bet and this one is to do with demos on stand now I talk about this at least once a year I think in a video but the length of time you demo for at bet's really important so when someone comes to your stand general rule I always say is a five minute demo to them if they've asked to see the product running through whatever top headlines based on what they're interested in what their role in school is and so on and then another five minutes if they then ask a follow-up question or ask to see something in more depth and then you want to try and get them booked in for a demo back in school that you can do for a bit longer and not worry about the constant stream of people you're missing walking past your stand while you're stood there with just one person or one school now Sometimes you get someone who's really engaged and they're asking questions back and forth and so it might drag out a bit and you end up having a conversation and that's going to be more memorable and obviously for that person it is more likely to go into a sale. But if you're just talking at them for longer than five minutes in a chunk then that's not going to increase your chances of selling to that person. But if it's an ongoing conversation, maybe 15 minutes. After that, you really need to move on and make sure you're available for other people walking past your stand. And what I want you to think about this year and, and add up just before you go to bet is I want you to think about the cost per demo at bet. Because for some of you, if you add up in 15 minute chunks, the cost of your stand, the cost of your staff, the cost of the freebies, the cost of the literature, everything you've had to do for bet, all the planning time, count it all up, everything, all the members of staff who've been you know working for this for months their wages everything add it together and work out how much a 15 minute demo costs you on your stand or a five minute or a 10 minute because at some point for some of you the cost of that demo is going to end up costing more than your product even costs even if that was a guaranteed sale now yes they might go on to be loyal customers yes you may in some world get a hundred percent of those demos turn into sales brilliant but the odds are against it so let's assume not a hundred percent are going to turn into sales and not all of those are going to stay with you long enough to recoup that cost per acquisition so break that down and it will hopefully sharpen your minds in terms of how long each of your demos should last for in order to make sure you get a good return from that investment because you've got all that footfall at bet you cannot waste it by having everyone engage with one person each for 15 20 30 minutes while there's other people just walking past walking past getting no information at all so some of those demos should be no more than five minutes some will be a bit longer if they're really engaged they might be a bit longer but 15 minutes is the general absolute cut off they want to go off and see other things you need to see other customers so it's just polite to make sure that you are keeping that efficient not just rushing them and making them feel rushed but keeping it efficient getting all the points across all the benefits across really well really succinctly so that they can go off with a good impression of you and don't feel that they've been kept on stand too long and you can feel that you've got the maximum impact for your spending at bet so that's my top tip for today and i will keep doing these so do uh, keep an eye out for them if you're interested in more tips and i'll speak to you soon i'm on linkedin i'm on twitter at jody world and um yeah get in touch if you need any help bye <laughs>